Well, once again, I am at the airport in Manila. This is Terminal 2. That is my bag. And I am leaving. I am heading off to university. I will explain that in the very, very near future. But in the meantime, let's go ride a plane. Now, ragsack, one of the few words in Ilocano I remember, it means happy, and I'm very happy to be back. This is Lawak City, this is the plaza, that's the provincial capital. I left Manila this morning on a plane. I flew here because I'm actually gonna go to a university tomorrow. But before that, I also was on the plane with a whole bunch of people from the Department of Science and Technology. It is NSTW, or National Science and Technology Week, here in Region 1. And I found out there's actually something happening at Centennial Stadium on the other side of Lawak. So, plan right now, probably walk around a little bit, maybe eat some pinakpe, and then I'll catch you later over there. Let's check it out. This whole video is just gonna be about science, technology, super smart Filipinos, innovations, and whatever is going on up here. It's my first time actually ever going to an NSTW. I just got my QR code registered and now I'm walking in. Let's see what this is all about. So interesting. My mind is already blown. I walked in. This is the FPRDI booth. That is a bamboo octagonal jointing system. Do you see? This is a little replica of a bamboo waiting shed. And the joints can actually carry 1.7 tons or 1,700 kilograms. I just heard as well, there's actually one of these outside of school somewhere in Lawag. I'm gonna find it later, but check it out. This is Apple. Are you, are you a doctor or a PhD or a, a master? See, everybody in DUST is like a doctor or a PhD or a master or something. She's just showing me some of the bamboo stuff. They have bamboo drums now. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but this here is a life-size real bamboo desk furniture for schools called Siliang Pinoy. What makes them really cool, besides the fact they're engineered bamboo, is check out what they can do uh, during a storm, how they can transform and help local communities. Look at this. So, this is a replica of a hybrid electric train. There's different umbrella agencies with the DOST, and there's booths here and replicas and setups of what they've been researching and doing and developing. Very cool.
overall capability shown sure, one second. citation. I think this is where you can try to be a weather reporter. Is this actually Pagasa? No. This is the, a broadcast simulation for a weather forecast. Got it. Okay, should I, should I go to Galog or English? You Let's, can do try both. Both. Let's do yeah, both. Yeah, okay. Magandang Agham Filipinas for the weather report. Cloudy skies with light to moderate rains and the possibility of occasional heavy rainfall. Strong winds and thunderstorms will be experienced in Metro Manila, the Cordillera and Central Luzon regions and in the provinces of Rizal, Cavite, Batangas, and Mindoro. Magandang Agham, Filipinas. Para sa ulat panahon, maulap na kalangitan na may mahina hanggang katatamang tamang pagulan at pasibilidad na paminsan minsang malakas na ulan, malakas na hanging at pakulog dulot na mga thunderstorm ang mamaranan san sa Metro Manila. Mga rehon na Cordillera agitan ng Luzon at sa mga Lalawiga na Rizal, Cavite, Batangas, at Mindoro. Para sa iba-ibang updates sa lagay na panahon, visita lamang ang website na DOST Pag-asa at DOST TV. At yang ang malak aking ula panahon sa araw na ito, ako si Kulas, one DOST for you, solutions and opportunities for all. Absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, if you want to feel very uplifted and proud of your country, look up what the DUST is doing and all the different agencies because there's some really interesting stuff. Take care, my dog. Hang out. What I'm going to do now is I want to try and find something before it gets dark. So I need to try and get back to the plaza area. Speaking of innovation, tricycles. Definitely a product of that. So you see, this is the actual waiting shed. They've already installed one outside the elementary school here in Lawag, and they're now putting in solar lights. You can see the joint system on the roof there. Pretty cool. Bamboo waiting shed. Good morning, this is Batak City, this is MMSU, Mariano Marcus State University. First time I've ever come on the campus. Looks beautiful outside. JICE Expo has begun. There's different grassroots innovations and products from around the country that are here. There's going to be some judging, there's going to be some talks. And it's going to begin, so. At the Department of Science and Technology, we believe that innovation does not only happen in laboratories or research centers. It begins in the hands of our farmers, fisher folk, artisans, indigenous communities. Through the years, the Grassroots Innovation for Inclusive Development, or GRIND program, has witnessed how innovation at the grassroots level can spark change from small livelihood initiatives to sustainable technologies that uplift communities and promote environmental stewardship.
This is Anna Marie from Batangas, and what they're doing is her family is artisans. They've adapted and innovated using abaca and, and sugar, sugar cane, waves. but the waste, though. The waste, all of our waste. And you're creating artistic yeah. products with that. This one is a pet bottle, the mineral water container. This one. Oh, this is this an old water yeah. bottle. So you've coated it. So this, so this was also plastic. It's a plastic. It's a corporation corporate. Oh, very cool. Okay. This is a sugar cane leaf. I don't mean unvas. It uh, stands for unas, the local term for dried banana leaves canvas because initially we created it as an art canvas. So here's a fun fact for you. There's 2.6 billion kilograms of wasted dried banana leaves in the Philippines. And these guys are turning them into unique paper, into beads, and they're even working towards making fake leather. Uh, the dried banana leaf can be processed into 90 to 95% of it fiber. Something to do with like her weekends and like uh, incubating. Let's check it out. Ano pangalan mo po? Christian. Ano yan? What is this? What's it? Protective and also monitoring device for sea turtle nesting sites. No way. So this is to protect the her weekends. How did you like? Is it solar powered or? Yes, and also backup battery. So what does it do exactly? How does it? It monitors the uh, what uh, what is happening within the nest and also uh, it detects if the turtles are hatching or not. Oh, so and it will, it will it like tell you, like will it give you a trigger? Or? It sends text message. Wait, it will send you a text message? Yes. No way. Hold if up. if the movement count is beyond beyond. 250 it there uh, it messages in the phone and that means something is triggering the accelerometer okay does it also like give you like temperature yes it does it tells you the temperature so that we uh, we can identify the gender or the sex of the sea turtles if the uh, temperature is high then more females will come out and if the temperature is low then more males are expected to come that's out. wild no way Hot and sunny afternoon, came outside. Whew. And my brain right now is just like, whoa, learned a lot. Very cool. That was the CFL building where we were, Center for Flexible Learning. Uh, earlier, I actually ended up here. And I think what is one of the main buildings. And I met people from the Stratcom office as well. I ended up meeting the president uh, of this university. He told me 19,630 students across all the campuses. Uh, they had 100% passing rate in pharmacy, forestry licensure, and the physician's licensure exam, as well as three top notchers. I believe it's like the best grade across the whole country for fisheries, civil engineering, and food tech. They have 66 programs here, and the most popular is, I believe, health. Health sciences. Um, funny enough, I'm a health and recreation major from uh, University of Victoria in Canada. Anyways, just came out, sharing some information. Oh. Uh, 
You just, you just gave me, you just give me an empanada? Yeah. Near the museum. <laughs> Here in Batak? I just got a Batak empanada. I love you, DOST. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, no way, that was so yes. random. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna eat this before going back in. <laughs> That's a group of judges. They're different academe from around the country. And they're going around as well and looking at all the different innovations. And they're judging. It's kind of like a little competition here as well. Hold up, okay. Science for the people. Agam Naramda. Angham. Agham. It's like a tongue twister. Okay, this is DOST Color Barzon. We're going to say science for the people in Tagalog. Agham Naramda. One more time. Angham Naramdam. Angham Naramdam. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you like a tongue twister? This is book. Pwede po kayong cellphone sa laptop or tablet po. Then, nakakonect na po kasi ako. So, gagamit po tayo sa Google po. Itatype na po natin 10.0.0.1. So, lalabas na po itong system po. Then, may kita po natin yung insert paper. Ayan po. Mag-insert lang po tayo ng paper. Ayan po. Pag narinig nyo na po yung thank you, meaning naka-insert na po yung paper. Then pwede nyo na po siya itantay. Here na po nice. Paper wire. Yes po. Inversion machine. A what? Used tire inversion machine. And what does it do? It inverts the old tire and then these are the the end products. Okay, cool. It's it's, it's a cycling. Nice. Rather than throw it away. How long have you been doing this for? Oh I guess five years. Nice one, very cool. So it is patent pending. Nagsimula kasi ako ng ano ng nang scrap ko kasi yung junk siya ay yung motor shop ko ay madaming nagpapa nagpapaayos ng mga kadena so naiipon siya and then naiipon siya ginawan ko siya ng paraan kasi pag nilagay natin sa junk shop ang mura ah uh, isang kilo ay nakakalaga ng 12 pesos oh. so nang ginawa ta ng arts ito ay nagiging simbolo ng ano 4000 yan uh... so pag binili natin to ng, sa junk shop pag binili ng junk shop natin to ay eh, 24 pesos lang yung mag Natin. Ilang ilang years mga motor shop ka? Ilang years? Mga siguro 3 years. 3 years. Ano pa kaya mo pia? Egay Valencia. Egay Valencia. He had a motor shop and then he realized, wait a minute. Why would I why would I sell all these metal scraps as junk when I can just turn them into really cool art? Yeah. Nice one. Galing, galing. Thank you. Every small thing was something to be really really proud of. Ang galing ng pipi mo pinatunayan po ninyong lahat ito ngayon. So we are just uh, so humbled by the uh, opportunity to share in this, in this learning. kind of stuff that people are innovating and creating, you wouldn't even know. You have to research the DOST, research the Grassroots Innovation for Inclusive Development Program, because it just gets me stoked. Uh, and I'm excited just to write stories now on Facebook about it. Okay, going back in.